Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's workout. It is Pilates Sculpt and Tone. We have two blocks of work today, nine moves, 40 seconds of work, 10 second transition, two rounds. We'll take a break between the blocks. Equipment is lightweight, two to five is kind of where you need to be, a mat, a mini ball, and gliders. But if you don't have some of that equipment, no worry. Other options would be a pillow or some fuzzy socks, depending on your floor. If you haven't yet, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. All right, we're gonna do a quick warm up. So roll the shoulders back, feet are hip width apart, reach the arms up, knee comes up, bring the arms down. Go at a nice pace here. So adding a nice lift of the knee, bringing those arms down as far as you can. If you wanna add a little twist now, bring that elbow to the outside of the knee. Sumo squat, nice sweeping down, and then lengthen through the fingers all the way out and up. Maybe those fingers just gently touch the floor. So you squat a little bit deeper. Going into a standing saw, arms in T, twist, and reach to the outside of the foot and come up tall and switch sides. Keep the length in your spine round a little bit as you go down and then lift and lengthen as you come up. And we want to draw the abs up and into that spine. Last one. Going into a plank, so come on down, so round and walk out. Give me right knee into the right elbow and then step back to down dog. Left knee to elbow, down dog. Exhales, the leg comes in. Inhales, you stretch back. Forearm plank. Have those hands face inward. We're gonna rotate to one side and then come back down. Open up to the back. And release. You can be on the knees. It's gonna get that waist a little bit warm. Those shoulders. Take yourself back up, walk back. And then we're just gonna start to squat and lunge. So it's a squat and reach with the lunge. Squat. Reach up and back. You can do a nice circle with the arms. And open up that chest. So the right leg is working here. We're gonna do a curtsy with a press and a kick. The weight is gonna stay in this left hand. So press up and then kick. So push out to the hip. And the other arm is just kind of hanging out there. Working on some balance. Push out into that right hip. And that curtsy lunge. It can always be a lunge to the back you feel anything in your knee. All right, shift it to the other side. Just remember, your right arm is gonna press up as you curtsy back, roll the shoulders back. So we curtsy with the push and a little kick. You can always just do knee up. And try to focus on something not moving, right? 
Ground through that foot on that left side. Going into a sumo, so heels in, to toes turn out. We're gonna give it a, a curl and a reach. So squat and curl, squat and reach. Keeping the arms out in front. Fight the gravity by staying up with the chest. And just let the breath flow here. that butt down to knee height. We have our feet in first position, heels together, toes turn out. We're gonna lift the calves in an upright row and then go into a side raise. So it's row and raise. And again, we're gonna rise up onto the toes Zip up in the thighs. Again, we don't need heavy weight here. So I got five here that I'm using. In that upright row, keep the weight close to your body. Elbows come up high. Give me a single leg squat with a kickback. So right leg is gonna stay. Left leg is gonna extend back, elbows in, kick back. And then we can bend the knee and extend that leg that we're standing on here. So you're doing a single leg squat with a kickback. Or just stay. You can even tap the toe down and just stay in a forward position here. Switch legs. Keep the length in that spine. Remember, you can bend and then extend leg and arms here. Ooh, get yourself ready for your core. Come on your back. If you need to, you can, or if you have a ball, place it into your thighs. And we're gonna round it down, reach out to T, come on up. So as we're doing a little roll up here, scoop it up and scoop it down. Hold here. Now lift those feet off the floor, squeeze the ball, just give me an isometric hold. Then we stay on the ground for bridging. Squeeze that ball. So no weights, or you can use the weights if you wanna place them on. I'm gonna bend my knees. Right foot stays, left leg is up. I'm gonna swing the leg down, up, and drop and lift the hip. My option is no arms. That can make it a little bit harder. You can have a weight on your hip here. And when you do that hip lift, right, push through the heel, make any adjustments that you need to. Reach that left leg long and away from you, especially in that kick. Right, we're switching the leg. Push that foot into the ground. The leg is nice and long. We'll start with the swing down. And then we'll drop the hip, lift that hip. And when we take away the arms, right, it's gonna be just a little bit more challenging for our hips, our core.
reach that leg long for me. We're gonna come into a plank. Ooh, and we're gonna do a fly. So one dumbbell, either knees or toes. So I'm just gonna open up to one side. So you have the option of being on the knees. Brace that core. Switch those arms. Open up and fly. Have your feet open. So my feet are probably wider than my mat. Keep those hips shining down. Pull the core up and in. One more. All right, back from the top here. Curtsy lunge. So make sure you have your ball in a safe place. Right foot stays. Press and curtsy. Kick option. You do knee up. I'm gonna do a kick. I'm gonna do a knee. Reach that arm long by your ear. Ooh. So take any option that you need. One more. Ooh. Roll back. All right, other side. Ground through that left foot. Oh, curtsy and press. Push it up. Good kick. I think of length on that side. When you're doing that press and curtsy. All right, sumo. So turn it out. Roll the shoulders back. Let's do reaches forward and out to the side here. So forward, side. We're gonna pick up that tempo. Sink in that sumo squat for me. I'll use those arms to reach out. Now, last 20 seconds. Stay low, impulse. Option to do some hammers. Faster. Heart rate coming up here. We have calf raises next. What is wrong with me? Do I care to Zip up your heels. Toes turn out. Pull it back. Right on here, upright row and fly. So we lift. What is wrong with me? And really dig your toes into the ground, right? To help you stabilize. What is wrong with me? Does somebody know? Cause I don't know. I Elbows come up high. Ooh, nice tea there. We have kick back Ooh, with a single leg. So my right leg is gonna stay. Right, I'm gonna be in a kick back position, extend the left leg back, kick it back. So you're in a warrior position here. Option, add a little bend in the knee and then straighten the leg and you straighten those arms. Switch legs. 
So we kick back, do a little bend and straight. Out through the crown of the head here. Lengthen your body out. So come on down, grab your ball, place it into the inner thighs. We're gonna do a little sweeping, so let's take it down slow. Roll back, arms in T, and roll up. So think about articulating your spine, lifting it up one vertebrae at a time, and then releasing down. Wrist is straight. And let's come up to the top and hold. Can you take the feet off the floor? Squeeze that ball. I'm gonna take my thumbs up here. Now I'm gonna add a little press in the arms and we'll press in my ball. Squeeze everything here. Shoulders relax. Getting ready to bridge. Right leg is gonna be bent. Lift the hips up, extend your left leg, swing it down. And then give me that hip lift. Inhale, exhale. And again, we're taking away the arms so they reach up to the sky. Pushing through in the glute. Your hamstring activates. All right, switch those legs. Just gonna readjust here. Oh, left leg is working, right leg is straight. I'm gonna reach my arms up, swing it down, and then lower and lift your hips. And again, we really wanna think about lengthening as we do our strengthening in Pilates. Bracing in the powerhouse which is everything in the middle of your body here. And use your breath. Whew, we're gonna plank with that fly. Oh yeah. Get that plank position here. Open it up. Again, take the knee option if you need to. Or if it starts to get heavy, bend your elbow slightly. And I'm really gonna push through my left arm as I'm opening up that right. Switch. Keep those hips shining downward. All right, take a break. We're gonna get set up for that second block. Woo. For the second block, we're gonna be using that mini ball and the gliders. Remember, it can be a pillow, it could be paper plates. You could also have some fuzzy socks on when we need to do the gliding, or you can do it without the, that equipment. We're gonna keep the right foot forward. You're gonna lunge to a single leg down dog gonna lower the leg, lift the leg, and then come back into your lunge. So it's a lunge, single leg, down, up, step forward, bring the knee up, lunge, single dog, lower, lift the leg, do a nice lunge, knee comes up. Keep that head between the arms. If moving from lunge to single leg is tough, stay in single leg and just do a lifting and lowering with a knee to the elbow. So that would be my option for you. All right, let's switch the legs. Oh, plus it helps to open up your hips. So that left leg is gonna stay, shoulders back. 
Lunge to single dog. Down, up, lunge. Whoops, sometimes you gotta think about it. Lunge, single dog, leg lift, lunge knee. Coming onto your side, forearm, legs out about a 45 degree angle, hand behind the head. I'm gonna do one kick and then a jackknife. Leg kicks up, lean in your back pocket, both legs lift. So top leg, both legs. So when I do double leg, I lean back. When I do the single leg, I'm staying in that side position here. Shoulder stays down. You get top hip, inner thighs, and obliques here. Lengthen the legs. All right, we're gonna swing those legs around. So remember, legs are out at that 45 degree angle. Shoulder stays relaxed, hand can be behind the head. And we do a lift first, and then a double leg. So when I do that first kick, right, I'm kind of making sure I'm on that hip, and I rotate back. You can always be all the way down on your arm, but I think you've got the strength here. Listen up, in 10 seconds, we're gonna use that ball. It's gonna go into the low back for leg circles. So it goes into the low back. I lift the hips up. We're kind of tailbone low back. I'm gonna do circles. The legs are gonna go down, out, and in. Drawing circles, or looks like you're drawing two eyes. And as they go down, squeeze your legs together. This can be done without the ball. A great option would be a pillow. Reverse this, take it back out, in, zip up. Out, in, zip up. Open up those hips. Keep those legs as straight as you can. We're gonna use the wall for the feet here. So the ball's gonna go into the thighs. My feet are up on the wall or a chair, or they can still stay down on the ground here. And I'm gonna press into the wall, tuck the tailbone, and squeeze, and have the arms lifted here. So if you don't have a wall near you, just do bridges, and you can squeeze that ball or pillow, and lift the hips and tuck under slightly. Option to stay more higher. Tuck and squeeze. So you want to think about really closing where the ribs and hips on that tuck. We're going to use the gliders next. All right, gliders under the feet. Then we are in plank. Ooh. And I'm going to tuck both knees in and then push away. If you don't have the gliders, you could do some mountain climbers. And keep them kind of slow. Curl under. Bring those knees as far forward as you can. Okay, on the forearms, we got wipers, so we're gonna be taking the leg out wide to the right, and then the left. So we're gonna swing it out and in. And 
the glider is nice because it has a different friction. Right, so we can really use inner outer thigh. And you can just tap that foot out or get some fuzzy socks on. And I like individual here versus both feet. You get a bigger range of motion. Sumo squats are coming up next. Ooh. Oh my goodness, right? Here we go, sumo position. I'm just grabbing my twos. I'm gonna sweep down and up. So it's down, it's up. So find the weight that works for you. I'm just gonna use twos. Great. Why you trying to break us up when I'm trying to build it up? I wish I could now that you know the moves, just try to go for a little more intention and having a great range. I'm gonna miss your body. You know, I can never get it right without you. No, I don't want to stay. Right here comes that lunge to single leg down dog with the leg lift. Right leg will stay forward. You can start with the knee up on the left. Lunge, single dog. Leg lift. Lunge knee. Once you know it, make it fluid. You can do pile with me. This is very, this, we use this move in Pio. All right, shift into that left leg. Find that balance. Knees up, lunge, single dog. Leg lift, lunge, knee. Workout, you should be doing barefoot. Get to use those feet to help you balance. Woo. Right, we're gonna grab into that side forearm. Kick first, and then double. So top leg, both legs. The shoulder really needs to make sure staying back. I could be here. So I need to be down on that arm. Ooh, lean in that back pocket. Swing it around. <clears throat> While we're doing the movements, really think about that length. Top leg, kick it, both legs, jack knife. So my head kind of pushes into the hand to keep my chest open versus crunching forward here. I want to keep that elbow open. Lift and lengthen. Remember, we're going to use that ball or a pillow. It's going to go under the hips for the leg circles. Whew. So on your back. In that low back, let's take it out, down, in, and lift up. I really 
And when you go out and in, click your heels together, and you get into what we call that first position. Heels in, toes turn out. And I have a little clicking. <laughs> Reverse it, and my hips go down. Open out. Control the movement. If your legs start to bend, you're going too big. You should stay straight here. All right, balls in the thighs. We're gonna be up the wall. So scoot forward if you're in a place like me. Ball in the thighs. We lift and squeeze here. <clears throat> you can take the arms up. You can make it smaller. You can lift the heels. I like that one here for this second round. Keep some tension in the ball so you're not just letting it go. So it's in squeeze. Keep a little tension. In squeeze. Make it smaller. Under. And squeeze. We work on the squeezing. Hold it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. In and out. In, 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 in. Woo, here we go. Planking with the gliders. At the tuck. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go this direction, <laughs> pull the knees in, push back. And I want those knees to come in as far as you can, so preferably you shouldn't have your hands on your mat. Come on, five seconds. Forearm plank, we're gonna do those wipers. Ooh, shoulders relaxed. So close, you guys, here it is. Take the foot out and in. And what I do is I make sure I clean my floor before I do the gliders, otherwise it's, it picks something you can scratch your floor. Come on. Pull up and in. Use those inner outer thighs here. All right, sumo squat. Grabbing those twos, get yourself into that wide roll, sweep it. Yes, finish off feeling good. Ooh. All the way up, really bend those knees, make sure that they're facing outward. You just have 10 seconds. Oh. Such a great job today. Oh, pull the shoulders back. That is it. Let's just do a nice stretch. Oh, stay wide and just hinge forward here. Let the head hang heavy. You're gonna grab your right leg, bend the left knee, bring that body towards it. Then what I want you to do is shift your body to that left side, lift the heel up, lift the toes up, push that knee out. Open up your inner thighs here. You can do a little reach with the right arm. The 
let's take it to the other side. We're gonna bend a little bit on the right, grab the left. And then sink into the right ball of the foot. Lift that heel, toes are up on the left. You can push that knee open, reach up with the left arm. Back to center, knee straddle here. Step it together, roll up. We're gonna round down and walk out into plank. So get to the back of the mat, walk out to your plank here. And then do up dog, or if you need to, sphinx pose. So if you need to go on your elbows, a little up dog. And then all the way down onto the stomach. Take right hand to right foot. Left hand on the forehead. And switch. Come on to all four. Give yourself that solo cat round, hug all the way in. Where are you going? And then reverse, look up. And then find neutral, just look over your shoulder. On the other side, pull down dog. Stay here for just a little bit in this down dog. So bringing that blood to the head. I want you to get a nice stretch through the back of the legs here. And every time you exhale, pull into that core, like deepen it. Press more so onto the right heel, so you're kind of bending the left leg. And then switch. Do that again, right. And then your left. Press both down, lift those heels up. So come onto the toes, really come onto the toes. Look at your toes, right? They're digging into the ground and then release the heels. One more time, lifting those heels way high and then release. All right, we're gonna bring those legs forward, swing them around, sitting crisscross. Ah. Oh. And just drop yourself forward. So just kind of hinge forward here. Roll it up, take that right arm, reach it up and across. And then other arm, reach up and over. And then roll the shoulders back. Big inhale, reach it out, reach it up. You guys enjoy that pull it down to your heart i sure did oh, and have an awesome day and we'll see you again back on this mat Whew.